so much for coming back to this channel it's mix and wherever you're watching from and uh, what time you're watching this video thank you so much big up guys may you be blessed uh, in whatever you do yes today's video what is a good security company i think that was a question that is being asked by very many questions by especially people who are coming to qatar and you're coming to qatar for the first time the question the way i'm going to handle it is just my own perspective and i think most of you will agree with me uh 90 most of you will agree with me when you come to most of these gulf countries what we call a good security company i think a good security company is going to be categorized in different five different forms or in five different types depending on which kind of contractor to sign with that company or with that security company and most of these companies that we look we have different types of contracts that we may sign for example you have what you call a limited contract and we have what you call an unlimited contract for the unlimited contract we can look at two years then for uh, for the unlimited contract we can look at an extent of the five uh, uh, five years contract that is part of what you need to understand most of the time when you look at most of these companies they have what you call clauses in those contracts and definitely most of you who do not take time to read into those clauses of the contracts i keep on saying and i keep on letting you know that each single single word in the clause of that contract means something to the employer and to you to the employee so what i call a very good what i i would call a good security company in here in the gulf countries or here in qatar is that company that is going to agree or is going to give you whatever it agreed upon in what you call a contract and how does this go for example if this company agreed to give you the salary in time and it agreed that every 10th of or every 30th or every 28th days of the end of the month it will be paying your salary then that is one thing that you'd call a good salary a good company because it's going to probably pay you that salary it agreed upon to be paid to you in what we call a timely manner in that case then if this company agreed to give you what you call food uh, to provide food for you and this food is provided to you in that quantity that you are supposed to consume and what kind of quantities we are supposed to do we are talking about we are talking about the three times that you're supposed to have that food for the morning breakfast uh, lunch and dinner which is supposed to be served you with the nutritious food items that are supposed to build up your body and supposed to give you that energy so that one i would call it a very good company because very very many companies would say they are going to provide you food but the food stagnantly being provided to you is unacceptable we call it unacceptable food because even you the person consuming it you may not feel the value of that food meaning that this company has get over to lie to you and yet at the end of it all when we look at the clauses of what you call the labor law there is what you call an allowance of what you call food allowance which is supposed to be given to you as an individual and if this company uh, promises you to give you that food allowance and it gives it to you then probably i would call that company a good company so for the newcomers most of these things you just have to look at most of these things that we 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 definitely which may be very helpful to our health very whole fundamental to our development other than we looking at the other smaller minor things at the end of it all so we look at salary if salary is being paid in time and this company agreed to pay you or it pays you the agreed date of the salary then probably meaning that you get the salary and use it for what you're supposed to use it then if for example uh, this salary agreed to give you the food allowances yes it gives you the food allowance okay if the salary uh, if the company agreed to provide for you food then let it provide for you the agreed uh, uh, meals that you're supposed to have during the course of the day which is uh, morning uh, morning breakfast um, uh, lunch then also you're supposed to have what you call dinner then we look at uh, companies if the company agreed to give you what you call accommodation let it be that accommodation that can accommodate your good health but most of the companies when you tentatively look at most of the security companies or some of the security companies the accommodations are really not that good the hygiene of the accommodation is that not good now most of you will agree with me wherever you are the 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 kind of setting that you are living in accommodation you over you overpacked in a, in a, in the room you sleep more than eight to 
sleeping more than diamond or you're sleeping with you cooking your utensils you're sleeping with the uh, uh your luggage next to you so you find that you find that the company has gone to what has gone beyond to what was supposed to, and that is not a good company because it is not taking care of your health and remember every employee in the company becomes what you call an asset because you go to work to the money for that company you go to work and that company will be paid back so your good health also matters because if you are not healthy or if you are not in good health that means that you're not going to be able to perform your duties so meaning that you'll not be able to give the productivity to that company so if the company takes care of if it looks at your good health as one of the most important item then also we look at that as a good company in one way or the other for the newcomers you definitely have to agree with me that that is also very important for your health and for your well-being in one way or the other then when we will we say it is respecting your work schedules if it said it will give you day off every week and it, it does that then probably go with that there's nothing more than you need that. Go for the day off, let it accept, it gives you the day off, it gives you. But there are some companies that tentatively were going to give you the day off, but again, it's card, it's not paid up. And yet in the agreed contract, you have, you'll have 26 days off, uh, or you'll have four days or two days in every month that are supposed to be paid. But in this case, instead, the company will, will reverse it all. They give you a day off, but again, it's not paid uh, uh, days off, meaning that, it is bleaching what was agreed upon in the contract so in that company in my regards it's not going to be a good company because it is bleaching the contract it's bleaching what was agreed upon in the contract hope i've tried to share up something when you look at another thing also you look at what you call transportation transportation is time you get to have that schedule you're being transported in time and you're being gotten out, such that you don't have any crop of you complaining about the overtime which is not paid by most of the companies do not want to pay overtime uh, and yet it is part of the entitlement and is part of the labor so looking at some of those few things for anyone that would would think of what is a good company then probably i think it will give you a clear picture and you definitely will understand what a good security company would be and what a good a bad security company remember when we are talking about the expectations versus the reality of it all definitely we can't fail to have those things most of the what what we expect and the realities that we get to face when we come here before we get to adapt to the conditions i think it's most of the things comes from what you call the recruitment agencies that over uh over over exactly whatever we have to find it and the end of it all when we come here or when you come here you find something that is so different that is going to distort off but i think for if you know you definitely you're coming and you're coming into the gulf for the first time for the first few months and your company where you are is supposed to give you all that i've tried to talk about talk about then probably no you're definitely in a good company and what to do you move on work take your target and move away and go to another level thank you so much for coming back to channel it's mix don't forget to support and don't forget to subscribe see you again in the next video